Whoa! Check it out, man! Okay, no regret. No regrets in choosing this one. Hey guys, this is the exciting project that I mentioned about in my previous video. I'm very glad to be working with Namuki Mods for our first ever collaboration on this channel. They are a one-stop shop for Seiko modification parts based in Singapore. They offer various selection of parts from cases, bezels, chapter rings, and what caught my attention are these DIY watchmaking kits. Although I'm not necessarily a modding expert or modding enthusiast, but I love myself an assembly session, you know, making it from scratch. And to have a kit that already has everything I need, especially as a total beginner, it's exciting and less intimidating. Here's a disclaimer, Namoki Mods approached me and willingly sent all these items for free. I do not have any other compensation other than that. And I have the creative freedom in presenting whatever I want to present, including my honest opinions and my honest experience in handling these Namoki Mods. The kit that I chose was this, the Sakura Dress Watch. I just couldn't take my eyes off that dial. To make it extra special, I'll be making some changes to this watch, but you have to stay tuned to the end to see why did I name this one Midnight Sakura Type. Now let's go! The package arrived promptly and with good enough protection. As mentioned, it arrives with all you need to assemble a watch, including a bag of toolkits, warranty, instructions, and of course, all the necessary parts of the watch. Although the movement holder from the toolkit may do its job, I somehow find it a bit clumsy and flimsy, especially for a beginner like me, therefore I'll be using one of my own. If you do not have one, I highly recommend you to get maybe one from Namuki separately. So the first step would have to be attaching the dial onto the movement. To do this, as seen in the instructions pamphlet, I would have to trim off the correct dull's legs. I used the tweezers that was given in the toolkit to trim the legs off. And make sure it's the right one, okay? After that, just slot the dull legs properly into the holes and it's secured. Next is probably the hardest part of this assembly, the hands installation. After rotating the crown clockwise, waiting for the date calendar to jump, I placed the hour hand at the 12 o'clock. Well, I tried placing it exactly at 12, but this is harder than it looks. I then used one of these hand pushers, which to be honest, I didn't know which one to use, so it's more like a trial and error at this point. I tried pushing it and tried to feel the feeling of it being attached snugly there. I then move on to the minute hand, and wow, this is harder. Well, wait to the seconds hand. I attempted that for god knows how long. And when I thought I was successful, well, looks like the hour and minute hands did not attach properly at all, and I had to remove it to redo the whole thing again. Thank god that they also included this dull protector which helps me to remove the hands and of course you have the hands remover tool as well. Okay, second time now. Okay, and voila! I think I'm getting the hang of it. Next, I need to release this stamp here. Putting the case on now, making sure it's free of dust. Okay, it's all snug and properly seated. Okay, then I need to insert this crown stem into the crown and I would have to say that this is very suitable for beginners as what I've seen in other mods, they might require you to cut off your own stem because depending on your watch case I guess, you might need different lengths of the stem. So I'm really glad that this is already pre-cut, so less one thing to be worried about. 
Okay, nice. The screw down crown is really nice. I have to say, it's very sturdy, very well made. And next, just use their case back opener to tighten the case back. Easy enough. And attaching the leather strap. Okay, I like that it's a quick release strap which makes it so convenient. And there you have it, the completed watch. Well, not so fast. Because I just want to show you that you can stop here with this watchmaking kit. This will be your end product. But what if I want it to be a little bit more special? Here is my very own Midnight Sakura tie. What I've done is simply changing the rotor to this quirky yet interesting blue baby design. And obviously I will have to change the case back to a transparent one. And of course, I also added some silicone to the gasket. Then, luckily I've decided to change the strap to a bracelet one instead. Because for my wrist size of 150mm, the leather strap is unfortunately way too big for me. And in my opinion, this watch looks better with the bracelet. All these parts, I also got it from Namoki Mods. And honestly though, I'm really liking this bracelet a lot because this is my first time owning a solid endlings bracelet and this makes me think about my other watches like my SKX013 Jubilee bracelets well <laughs> they are pretty suck to be honest in comparison to this one this quality truly surprises me and I'm so glad to make this choice. Now I will split my review into two halves, the experience and the watch itself. I've enjoyed my experience of making this watch and I think that this kit is a good gateway to those who enjoy this sort of stuff. I'm not necessarily a mod person but I can definitely see the appeal of making one of your own from scratch. This kit is considered to be quite complete. Whatever you need, they have it there. They even have those squishy thing or rodico for you to remove dust. They even have pack wood. One thing that I just feel it's lacking is the movement holder. But of course, you can do it with whatever they give you here. It's a more budget friendly way of doing this. But I highly recommend you to get one of these. Also, one thing I realized is you can't just change the rotor with your normal precision screwdrivers. For some reason, the thread needs a specific kind of screwdriver, which yes, Namoki sells that too. Overall, I really enjoy this whole process and I think it's perfect for beginners who want to get into watchmaking but don't know where to start. This is like taking your first little step into the world of watchmaking and the best part is you get to wear the watch you make. Which brings me to the watch itself. I'm liking it way more than I thought. I guess this is partly the IKEA effect. IKEA effect is a term I learned back in my psychology days. Basically, it describes how people tend to value an object more if they make it themselves. I enjoy taking pictures of this watch. I enjoy wearing it around, although it isn't from your normal mainstream brand. Like, I'm just happy wearing it around. Maybe this is due to the gorgeous black sakura dial. Or maybe it's the nice heavy solid bracelet that I long for. Or maybe it's the little change that makes it extra special. Or maybe because I made this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.